Hello, welcome to another episode of Breakers Spotlight, where we spotlight a breaker, of course, hence the name, right? Um, today, we're here with Marquise Bradley, owner of Coast to Coast Treasures. Marquise, thank you for coming. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for having me. I'm Marquise Bradley, the owner of Coast to Coast Treasures, as Joe said. You can find us located in Englishtown, New Jersey, at the Englishtown auction inside of the Blue Building, booth number five. I'm, I've been dying to go there, actually. Yeah, and I've been I'm waiting going for you to visit. I'm going to come. I'm going to come. I promise. <laughs> so here, first, before we open up this product, I wanted to go back a little bit with you and talk about how you first got into collectibles. That's the first and for foremost. So I started with my father in 1994. I was 14 years old, and my father decided that he wanted to go into business for himself. He was a big card trader at the time. Right. They weren't as big as they are now, right. <laughs> but um, he started the business. We actually started at English Town Auction with just a table. Oh, wow. And we grew it to where we are now, turned into an LLC last year, and here we are. Now, your dad is, you said, in California? He's in, in Washington State. Oh, he's up in Washington State? Yes. Okay. Yes. And I've been saying that I want to meet him. When is he coming? He Jersey? will be here in June. I'm actually going there next month okay. for his birthday, and then he's coming in June. Okay. For He's staying for a month because he wants to meet you as well. Mar uh, good. Uh, Marquis, he does a lot of my conventions. If you check VeteriProductions.com, six different branded shows. I run over 20 shows a year. Um, the big one that um, this show is sponsoring is Trading Card Expo on Friday, May 7th and Saturday, uh, May 8th as well. Um, so it's gonna be a two day mega event. But I know I'm gonna see you at the Wayne, New Jersey Toy Show and I'll see you after Trading Card Expo at the end of May at ToyCon, New Jersey. Yes, sir, you will. So Marquis, if you wanna see him in person, you know where to go. All right, so let's let's check out, what, do you, what did you bring today for us to rip? So today I brought a hanger box of 2019-20 uh, Chronicles. Oh, nice. Something I feel is a really slept on card, but I feel it's something good for a brand new breaker, a brand new collector, because it, it offers a lot. Um, what is, what's the price point, like the retail for that? Um, <laughs> I'm going to say resale market because we know that everything is right, resale right. market yeah, forget now. about the target and walmart yeah, price that's, that's, that's over happen. that's it's long not gonna happen. that's long gone so it's about 50 to 60 dollars um i mean i'd say if you find it for 50 you get it because i've always done very well with them at that price point okay now, um, now and now, of course let the audience know who are we shooting for who are we, who are we trying to pull you definitely want a zion or a jaw which you can see jaw here in the shot uh this is a green lux could you, Flux, could you, jaw. could you pick that up and, and show it to the camera a little bit yeah, more? Get that glare. There yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's That's a beautiful hot. card. That's beautiful gorgeous. card. It books at 80 bucks right now. Um, then this is a Airborne, which is also a pretty card. Chris That's nice. Boshier, Any number. Auto. It's numbered too. Yes, That's nice. Yes, sir. Yes, what does sir. that? What does that go for? Um, that one is 125. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And those both came out of one hanger box. Ooh. Exactly. So I'm Ooh, saying it's definitely some good heat in there. There's a method to the madness. Yeah. yeah yes. Let's yeah, let's yeah, go. Yeah. So, and I know you love the break. So I do. I do. I, it's something that never gets old for me. Right. Like I, I will. I don't even watch television anymore. I, I literally don't. Like I'll sit on my phone, and plug watch it breaks in. All I'll day? watch breaks or YouTube videos about sports cards. It's like all day long. All day. That's it. I have no need for television. All right, so there's 30 go. cards in each box. Nice, Col and call them out. Who do we got? Oh, Brandon Ingram. Now, why do, why do they sometimes are the cards upside down? Does anybody know? I, I really don't know, and I've wondered that too. And then they put all the good cards at the very end. I guess that's a suspense. suspense. <laughs> uh, yeah. They know what they're doing. Panini knows what they're doing. Jason Hayes. Andre Drummond. R.J. Barrett. Like he's starting to pick up his game now with the three pointer. You know his cards have like kind of like leveled off now. His, like, in the they, beginning they were, they were, they were like, honor, yeah, they were clicking. Yeah, up. yeah. Uh, Chris Middleton, PJ Washington Jr. Someone else whose cards have like kind of leveled off. Yeah. Ben Simmons. I am a huge Sixers fan, and we I was, just took the number one spot last I was night. Just gonna go there, <laughs> Joel Embiid. Is a beast. Yes, yes. I've never seen somebody that size with that type of finesse ever. Do you think that when Brooklyn has a full roster, their full team, do you think that 
It's going to be hard. I, I think it's going to be hard. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's going to game seven. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Porter Jr. Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi gets not, not enough love. Nowhere near. Nowhere enough. near. He's top ten right now playing, in my opinion. Siako. 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 Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can't say the last name. Yeah, I me neither. I give up on that. <laughs> Nikolai Alexander. <laughs> uh, Jared Culver. Terrence Davis. Wow, we still haven't ran across a Ja or a Zion yet, huh? It's all right. Jordan Poole. Rue. Another P.J. <laughs> Washington Jr. Romeo Langford. Yeah. Kendrick Nunn. Another Kawhi. Brandon Clark. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Kobe White. I had so many Kobe Whites. The price was really getting good. It was really heating right. up for me. PSA 10s were like 180. I look back, they're like 60 or 80. I'm Another like, leveler, right? I just, oh, <laughs> I got to just invest in the icons, iconic <laughs> players. Why Carson do, why Edwards. Why do I do it to myself? Because you love, you love the hobby. I, I, I love the you hobby. love the hobby. I do. I love the hunt, right? It just doesn't end. Jamal, Jamal Murray. Murray. That, Someone who I, does shame. not feel does not get enough credit. He gets not even close to and enough credit. And this is a green. So inside this box, I forgot to mention that there's green parallels. Oh, cool. Uh, okay. And this Jamal. Now, what is it? That sticker in the lower left tells you well, it's, it's green? Just, yeah, it's green. And here, this one, the Jarrett Culver, the <laughs> words are in green. Oh, I got you. I got you. Another Rue uh, Crusade. Ooh, ooh. Whoa! Banger. So <laughs> that is a money shot, and I know because I already pulled one. That's a two hundred and fifty dollar card. No, two hundred and fifty dollar raw card. There you have it. <laughs> Did I mention that if you do this podcast, that you have to give the cards to me to the guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and another Zion right behind that. You got to be kidding not, me! Not at all. We're here, man. It's the faux pro mojo, baby. <laughs> Eric Pascal. A Ja Moran. And you just and you called it. And a Matisse Thibel. Nice. Yes. 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 That's an awesome break. Nice. Do you, do you have any sleeves or you know Yeah, I brought sleeves. sleeves. You know I brought you, sleeves. You bought sleeves? You know I bought sleeves. All right, cool. You, you, you know I bought sleeves. Right. Not top loaders, but I brought sleeves. Will, will those cards be for sale at some time next month, one of the shows, or are you are you hoarding? So, Joe, you are my good friend. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and I always treat you good because you treat me good. He does. He does. So, they will be for sale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know I'm not yeah, a hoarder. Yeah, full, yeah no, full, discla <laughs> full disclaimer, before the Wayne New Jersey Toy Show, I usually approach you. You do. We give our hellos. Yes, we do. And then you say, I got something for you. Every show. Yeah, yeah. Every show. <laughs> and more often than not, I buy it. Right? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So Just, what are the hours of your um, your store? Like, when could people... So we are open uh, Saturdays and Sundays, 8.30 to 2.30 right now. Um, after Memorial Day, we'll be open until 4.30, both of those days. Um, you can also find me at columbus market also on thursdays now I have a second location at columbus market so same hours just a different location expansion is good yeah yeah very, I'm trying very cool. i'm trying very cool very cool well i appreciate it very much you coming on i appreciate you having me and uh we'll do it again and most you know you know me sooner than later we'll, sooner than later <laughs> we'll be buying and talking cards again right. but anyway if you want to see marquise bradley you can, you can check him out uh at his location or any one of my conventions that he is a dealer at. Again, uh, the show is sponsored by Trading Card Expo, Friday, May 7th. It's gonna be like a Friday night party thing from four to 10. And May 7th uh, is a Saturday, and that's from nine to five. Hope you could come and join. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.